With more businesses being allowed to operate, more people will be able to get back to work. But some might think it's still not safe to return. Our Nikki Dementry tonight looks at some of the options that people have as the economy begins to reopen. 36 million Americans have filed for unemployment benefits since the start of the pandemic. That includes 2 million New Yorkers. The state has paid out more than $9 billion in benefits. But what happens as reopening begins? New York as a state is not allowing businesses to reopen either in unsafe environments or with unsafe conditions. That's Department of Labor Commissioner Roberta Reardon on a press call last week. Our unemployment system has guardrails in place to ensure that those collecting unemployed, unemployment benefits are doing so because of lack of work. New York has three scenarios when it comes to reopening and unemployment benefits. To still qualify for benefits, a person can turn down a job for a specific COVID-19 related health issue. This means if someone is high risk and a doctor says it's unsafe to return to work. Another reason, if there are non-health related COVID-19 issues, such as being a child's primary caretaker. But turning down a job because of any generalized fear of the virus or not liking the job means benefits stop. Some have reached out to us saying they're fearful of going back to work. What's your message to them as we begin to reopen phase one today and phase two, hopefully in two weeks? They should understand that today is not an arbitrary day. We didn't make up these dates. We didn't make up these metrics. People should realize that we've taken every measure necessary to protect public health, and so they should feel secure. Any business reopening has to follow strict guidelines, like a plan for social distancing, making sure people wear masks, and enacting disinfecting protocols. They will also have to certify to the state they will follow these standards. Anyone who feels their employer is in violation is encouraged to report it to the local health department or the Department of Labor. On Monday, Commissioner Reardon said the department has already looked into 20,000 complaints of unsafe work environments. Both the commissioner and the lieutenant governor urge anyone and everyone who may find themselves in this situation to report it at forward.ny.gov. Nikki Dementry, 7 Eyewitness News.